Alright, hey guys, welcome to The Legend of Zelda, Z Skyward Sword. I'm the Clean LP guy, and in this episode, um, I got into a little bit of a jam, a pickle, with my computer. Me and my computer had a little bit of a spat. Um, uh, in the last episode, we started right over there. I accidentally uh, went into Lanayru uh, while I was recording, but the recording didn't turn out quite right. I saved once while we were in Lanayru, and I will show you guys where we saved when we got into Lanayru. We won't see a little bit of a snippet at the beginning, but it was mostly just Fee talking, and I know there's a lot of people that don't like Fee talking anyway, so um, really quickly, I noticed that there was a something we missed over there, uh, one of the chests that it looked like we missed over there, so I'm going to go get that, and then I'll show you guys, uh, I'll show you guys and tell you what chest we got um, next to the Lanayru opening, so I'm sorry about that, but I, that's this is the best I can do, because unfortunately I saved pretty much as soon as I got there, so I'll be right back in just one second. Okay, so I guess you guys are probably all confused about why I'm all of a sudden back here at Skyloft. Um, I just remembered that there was a goddess stone that I also hit as soon as I got into Lanayru Desert, so that chest is actually a goddess stone chest, so I will not actually be showing off uh, that chest um, right now. Um, I will show you where I hit the goddess stone. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to hit the goddess stone again, but I will show you exactly where it was. Um, I will go to the item check lady because it was an item that you can get at the item check. Um, it is called a bug... Uh, bug... Bug metal? I think is what it's called. I'm not entirely sure. It is... Oh, no, my bad. Oh, no, it was this seed. It was this seed satchel. It was a small seed satchel. Um, we got the... Uh, we got the, the bug nettles, the bug nettle, the bug metal is at, um, beetle shop and, uh, the, no, oh, what is the other thing? The treasure metal is what we got at that one island with, was it the bombable wall? I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, so now we're going to finally get going to Lanayru. I'm going to show you where that thing is really quick. Um, it's just over here, uh, slightly, just a little bit of a ways, uh, over here, uh, but then we will actually be going to Lanayru. Uh, I'll just, it's actually a really simple uh, treasure chest to get. There's some that are like really complicated and all out of the way and whatnot. Uh, this one is actually relatively simple. Um, there's this rock way over here on the other side of this really thick wall of clouds, almost as thick as the cloud wall that we have that we go through every time we go through a uh, Thigma Bob Jigger. I constantly am looking over at my computer because I'm like, I do not want it to mess up like it did just now. Um, I hate, would hate it if I had to do this episode three times because what I did in this episode was a little bit long, but, well, last time I guess, but hey, it's not going to be too bad. I kind of know. So this treasure chest right out here in the open, uh, open it up and you will get the 10 seed satchel uh, thingy. You wouldn't have to buy the seed satchel if you um, get it from that chest. I just uh, forgot about it being there. There's this really colorful place that I guess that one girl was trying to find when her bird uh, got hurt. Anyways, I will show you guys where that goddess stone is. Um, there was a zoom in all around, all up and down on the town, uh, on this uh, uh, place called Lanayru Mine. Uh, that's where we come in. It probably won't tell us that once we get there. Um, we'll actually see the first instance of something new for when you go in to fly in into a new area once you've already been to it. Um, Anyways, we're just going to fall down, and I, it should just be like, because we have one place, but I guess it won't. Um, so, all of this area right here uh, is the Nehru Mine. The bird statue I saved at is actually this uh, thing here. We can just glide to it, take us to the Lamina entry. Lanayru Mine Entry. Blah. Don't combine all the words together. Anyways, but this is the entire area that was kind of formed together. We will still see uh, the main part, Lanayru Desert, uh, in the thing. Unfortunately, for some reason, my computer is having issues. I don't know why. I'm very sorry about that. Anyways, that is what's going on right now. So, we are here at this little desert area. You actually start up here. I will just take you up through the motions. There's this giant robot head thingy, whatever this is. You kind of just fall down right here, and you get a look out here. Not really all that much interesting uh, when you're doing that, but uh, whatever. Um, if you come around to the back, there's actually going to be a goddess stone right about in this area, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right about in this area right here. Um, all basically all you have to do skyward strike, you know put the sword up in the sky Get the light hit it. You're gonna watch it go up into the sky. It's basically the same old same old um, Stuff there's really nothing else around here. There are bombs over there if you want bombs um, But that's pretty much it Anyway, so coming down into the main part of Lanayru um, This are well, these are some slopes that I, I have no idea why they're there Maybe if they're there for some people who 
worked here before. But anyways, oh, we got keys. We got keys. Are these new kind of keys? No, no, not new kind of keys at all. All right, we got a heart from that guy. I really don't care about the heart right now. Not really interested in it. Um, we will meet a new enemy right up here uh, in just a couple moments. The first time I played this, I got, well, yeah, the first time I played this, I got really spooked out because these enemies just, like, come up from behind. Anyways, um, you can actually make that in one full thing of Bob Jigger. These guys will come out of nowhere. Basically, what you want to do is you want to spin right in the middle of them. Those are yellow choo-choos. Uh, I should have targeted one. I totally forgot about doing that. But anyways, I'll do that in just a minute because we're going to run into those guys a lot. So, um, yeah. Those um, rocks right there have... Usually, they have rupees in them. Sometimes, they can have uh, hearts in them. But usually, it's rupees. Anyways, uh, we're going to run up this and run up this here. And there we go. All right. Um, there's going to be yellow chews in here. So let's just target one and see what he's all about. Yellow choo choo. Yellow choo choos are capable of generating electricity for short bursts of time. As with other choo choos, I suggest you remain on guard. If you make contact with this type of choo choo when it is charged, it will give you a shock. Then it will attempt to feed on you. This is not pleasant. I can kind of guess that. Um, okay, you have fought two of these enemies. Yes, I am unable to. Blah, 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 blah. All right. The stuff that is totally not important. What is important, though, is that this guy is also a Chew Jelly. Then you're going to go down in history as the worst Chew Jelly ever. Uh, let's pick you up. Um, they actually get bigger ones of those as well, if you wanted to know. I'm going to stand behind this because hopefully that won't hurt me. Hey, look. It's a blue rupee and a green rupee. Awesome. Awesome. Anyways, we're going to push this until it gets to the end of the rail. And then we're going to figure out what the heck is that purple thing with this. In the distance. What is that purple thing? Um, okay, there we go, sweet. Alright, there's gonna be some rupees lying around here. We're gonna actually get some of those. Not all of them, probably, but just some of them. Uh, yeah. We are, um, actually gonna try and make our way all the way through the, uh, mine so we can get to the desert. If you guys didn't know, uh, there is actually, um, the desert after the mine, so. Um, most of you guys probably know that, though, but, um, whatever. Um, I'm actually gonna try not to get that. Actually, wait. I probably will get that green, green rupee there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Sweet. We got 70, 570. Uh, we don't need to do anything with that. What is this? Uh, is, okay. Uh, that doesn't do anything. What about that? Hey! What is it doing? It's all shiny. Whoa. It's like an eyeball. Whoa, it's floating. That is so cool. Whoa, what is that? Sweet. This is cool. Alright, so we've got a bunch of live stuff everywhere. Um, new live stuff from this gemstone that is amazingly awesome. and has floating stuff inside of it. Okay. Um, sometimes there are... Th yes! Things floating around. This is what we want here. Yes. Alright, so um, the cart that we were pushing just a few seconds ago. That is actually a special... Right? Uh, I feel like this is not... No, this isn't the special something. This over here is the special something. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, if I'm mistaken, then I'm gonna just be mistaken and deal with it. Because, yeah. Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is the one that we want for the special something and rather, and then we can come back and do the... Yeah, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna hop out of here, and we're gonna see if there's any... Nope, there's nothing there. Alright, so we could get some stuff in the, um things over there i'm not gonna worry about it just because i really don't feel like i need it right now uh any rupees that is i've got 590 um i will be collecting a lot of rupees in a short bleh, in a short moment i guess you could say uh because there is a dungeon of course for this uh level or this well level yes but the the thing here so um we'll of course be collecting stuff in the near future so uh, it won't be too much uh well I have no idea what I'm saying, so just don't listen to me. <laughs> Anyways, I know there's some people that feel like that about LPRs. It's like they don't want to listen, they just want to watch the movie. And I'm totally cool with that. I honestly don't mind people just wanting to listen to, uh, or excuse me, watch the game. I I'm just not one of those kinds of people. So, um, yeah, I just like to do stuff. And uh, I, actually, I actually like having the voices. I don't I don't know why, I'm just weird like that, I guess. Uh, we're going to throw that guy over there. I like how there's like looks like so much more color in the ones that are actually like on the other side of the um, Bob Jigger. Uh, well, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Never mind. Although half the time I'm doing this, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So this is going to. Ooh, that looks so colorful. What is that? It's, 
looks like a basket, huh? Well, that looks like you could just throw a bomb right in there, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe it's because I'm a boy and I just like to blow up stuff. I love to blow something up. Uh, that did not work. So you know what? We're just going to use our own bomb. And then we're going to collect one of the bombs here. There we go. Sweet. Hey! We got the cliche Legend of Zelda music. That is good. Alright. Uh, whoa! Jellies. Chew gels. Juice. Oh, good. Whew. If you don't uh, hit them long enough and they just like get going around, they'll actually have electricity. So you want to watch out for that. Um... What's really nice about our bombs is that they actually don't light as soon as you've got them in your hand. They actually light as soon as you throw them or roll them or whatever you happen to do with them, I guess. I guess there's multiple different things you can do with them. Um, it's kind of nice that you can uh, pick how you're going to do this. Whoa. There's actually some important stuff in that room. So we're going to get some stuff in that room. Because if you couldn't tell, there's actually a hole underneath the ruby. Uh, we're going to actually go in here and figure out what's in here. Uh, there are two jellies. There we go. Get rid of those guys. Um, nothing over there. Hey, look at that. There's a new insect. What do we got? Two. Hey, what do we got? We got a Lanayru ant. Sweet. I found my ant in Lanayru. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. That was a really bad joke. Anyways, uh, we're going to see if we can scoop him up. Come on. Oh, suckers. Whoa. Uh, did I just... I saw another one. Oh my gosh. Uh, gotcha. Okay, I got two. Sweet. Now we can get this 20 rupee chest. Awesome. Sweetness and cherry pie. We got our rupees. Now we can move on. <laughs> the way I said that just sounded weird. We got our rupees. That sounded like a robot. It was kind of weird. Anyways, um, there should be no enemies in there. I'm just gonna. Whoa! Keys, keys, keys. Keys, keys, keys. What am I going to do without keys? I do not want my bug net. I want me some bombs. I love blowing up stuff. Blowing up stuff is fun. Stuffs. <laughs> that was weird. I can't believe I said it like that. Blowing up stuffs is fun. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're going to come over here. Collect this stamina berry. Run over here. Wait for our... S well, nah, let's not wait. Waiting's for wimps. Uh, we're going to stand right here because this guy does not know what he's doing. Uh, we're going to bring it down. Ugh. Yeah, that is exactly what happens when you get electricity on you uh, from those dudes. They just kind of hurt you a little bit. Okay, like a lot. Let's just stun him. And then we'll actually use our bomb and blow him up. Boosh! What? 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 There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, so we can actually stun this guy too. Um, we're going to actually do that as well. Because it'd be nice to do that. That is not what I wanted at all. How am I such a bad shot? There we go. We're going to run our hearts out. We're going to get a bomb. And we're going to toss it at him. There we go. Sweet like that. Alright, we're going to run this way. I could get that heart. I'm actually not going to because I feel like there should be a heart somewhere over here. Can... There we go. Oh, Deku Nuts. Sweet. Um, two rupees. That's good. Get us up to 20. Uh, I'm going to kind of swerve out here, grab that, and run over here if I can. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Now, I don't want him to shoot. Oh, jeez. That was close. I honestly don't want him to shoot electricity at me. Okay. That was kind of nice. It's like, yes. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to grab out a bomb and throw it at him. There we go. Sweet. That was actually good. I actually was pleased with that. All right. Now, we're going to go over here. Um, we're gonna actually loop a long way around. Whoa! Okay. We're gonna loop a long way around because, um, that's kind of what you have to do for this area here. Uh, come on. Thank you. Uh, if I'm not swinging as well, it's probably just because my wrist hurts a little bit. I don't know what I did to it, but at one point I, I must have stretched some kind of muscle in it. So now it's like a little bit, not like it's hurting majorly, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. It's hurting. But it's like, it's just hurting a little bit. Whoa! That's a big chew jelly and I do not want him messing with me. Not right now, anyways. All right. Ah, that is not what I wanted. There, sweet, got him. All right, now, what are we doing over here? We're gonna push this guy. See what this does. Um, it will, it will be important later. Uh, you can get into him, uh, like you just saw, but it will immediately get you out of them. So 
that's kind of an interesting thing um, with these uh, things. We are actually almost done in this area, surprisingly enough. There are two keys in here. Whoa, that guy died quickly. All right, so basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go like that with that. Do some B bombs. Um, just basically pick up some bombs. All right, now we can actually do what is important to do, and that is toss a bomb all the way down there into the center of that. And it, I'm going to try and show it so you can kind of see it. You guys can kind of see. There we go. You can actually get a time shift stone. Um, I'm going to collect one more bomb, then I have good 15. And I'm oh, no, that's not what I need to do, actually. My bad. <laughs> I keep thinking you have to run down there. Like, that's my first instinct. What you actually have to do is you have to use the beetle. I guess that makes it more real when it's like you kind of don't remember entirely, but I don't know. Some people don't like it real. But anyways. There we go. Some people like it where you just know. You're like, professional. Um, personally, I like not knowing sometimes, it's, but there we go. Um, I've just found that's the easiest way. Ooh, sweet. I got a jelly blob. Um, I've just found that using your shield is like the easiest way for me to kill the, um, bad guys in this. The, these dudes, I forget what they're called now. Um, Deku Babas. It's just the easiest way for me to kill them. There should be, there's a dragonfly. Can I get him? Oh, no, oh, come here. Yeah, come here. I got him. Ha ha. I at least got one. I'm okay with that. Gerudo. Ah, that's what I wanted to say. Um, this desert, to me, it reminds me a lot of Gerudo. The desert in Gerudo. Dang it. Whoa, he's going to get eaten by that Deku Baba. Uh, anyways, it reminds me of the Gerudo desert in Ocarina of Time. Um, just kind of like uh, the Deku tree reminds me of... Or, excuse me, Farron Woods reminds me of the Deku tree uh, in... Uh, uh, oh, dang it. You just ate my shield. You suck. There, die. What the heck? Did, why did it turn me around? Uh, I'm going to wait for him to come to me if I can. Is he going to come? Papa. Gotcha! <laughs> wow, that was actually really weird. I was like waiting really... Anyways. Anyway, so um, this reminds me of the Gerudo Desert in Ocarina of Time. I believe that's what it's called. If it is what it's called, you guys can correct me in the comments. I'm totally okay with that. Um... Reminds me of the Gerudo Desert, um, and then, um, at the same time, uh, did I collect anything while I was down here? Is there anything to collect? No, there's nothing to collect. There's nothing to collect. Sometimes there's, uh, one of those ancient flowers down there. Um, sometimes there's not. And there we go. Slice your head off. Hey, look, a jelly blob. Awesome. All right, we're going to come up here because there's sometimes there's really fun stuff over here. Um, there is a Deku Baba over in the corner over there. We're going to worry about him right now. Come here. There we go. Slice your face off. And get another jelly blob. Wow, we are just getting the jelly blobs left and right. Um, we are actually going to get a heart. My shield is actually not as far down as I uh, was thinking it might be, but um, I would have liked to have gotten it where I could have gotten a perfect hit on that one Deku Baba, but can I just please? Thank you. All right, so we are actually going to um, get inside this cart and go. Yeah, um, I never said this, but Elden Volcano reminds me of... Oh, I got to blow that up. <laughs> it's gonna take me back. I never remembered that happening actually just so you guys know um, I think the last time I did this I actually blew up all those things. So I didn't even like know that. But anyways, um, oh I totally spaced it Spaced it. Um, we're gonna grab one more just because I have to blow this guy up All right, there we go. Now. We're gonna run over here. I actually want to see if I can beat the bomb <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. I'd actually like to blow up for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, nope. I can't. Oh, well anyways, um what was I going to say? Um, Elden Volcano. Reminds me of Death Mountain from uh, Ocarina of Time. That's what I was going to say. Anyway, so we are actually outside as of right now. We are outside. Uh, that's kind of cool. Um, this is actually going to be a new area. Uh, I can skip it, I guess. I, I'm not going to because I don't want to. We have arrived at Laneru Desert. The terrain in this area changed dramatically as climate forces rapidly turned into it, it into a desert. All right. Wow, this place is huge. Um, I'd have to say this is the biggest Lanayru Desert. This is the biggest area uh, in Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I have confirmed numerous areas of Sink Sand. Should you step in Sink Sand, you might be swallowed by the desert. Bodily danger has increased by 30%. Wasn't my bodily danger always increased by 30% because of enemies? As a safety measure, I recommend you check the terrain on your map with plus. 
Again, she mentions the plus button when Link doesn't even know what that is. My readings indicate that Zelda has passed through here. As previously stated, this area is highly dangerous. Why did you need to say that again? I honestly don't get that. I honestly don't. I suggest reuniting with her quickly to determine the motivations behind her actions at Elden Province. <sighs> Almost didn't make it on that one. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> anyway, so here's this giant area in the Nehru Desert. Um, really big, really awesome area. Um, we will be able to explore this later in the next episode. Uh, for right now, we're actually going to be hanging out here. Uh, well, for just for this end of this episode, just hanging out here. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to be figuring out what's going on in the Nehru Desert. Where the heck Zelda is. Apparently, she's somewhere over there by that Triforce. So... I will see you guys then.